Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you there. I was busy looking at this fascinating tardigrade I found in my backyard. Have you ever wanted to find your own tardigrades? If the answer is yes, then please join me, Dr. Thomas Boothby, and tardigrade hunting expert Jenny Hepper in this instructional video, where we show you the equipment and techniques you'll need to find your own wild tardigrades. To find tardigrades, you'll need a few basic pieces of equipment. You'll need a microscope. You'll need some bottled spring water, some plastic dishes, forceps, which are optional, you can just use your fingers, a plastic bag, and a paper towel, which you should wet, fold up, and then place inside your plastic bag. Now that you've gathered all the equipment you'll need, it's time to go out and hunt for tardigrades. Tardigrades can be found most easily in moss and lichen. Once you're out in the woods, look around for some moss. When you find it, all you need to do is pick it up, either with your fingers or with forceps, and place it in your humidified bag. Tardigrades also live in lichen. You can find a lot of lichen growing on rocks. Like before, either pick the lichen off with your fingers or you can even scrape it off with something like forceps or scissors. You can often find both lichen and moss on dead tree branches just laying on the ground. Now that you've collected your samples, it's time to take them back to your microscope. First, start by taking a plastic dish and filling it with spring water. Then select one of your samples that doesn't have a lot of excess dirt on it and shake it off in the water. This will help to dislodge any tardigrades in the sample. You can be pretty vigorous. Put your sample under the microscope, and now it's time to take a look and see what you've collected.